Hi, I'm Amy Mall, and I'm the author of Dog Gone Missing, a book about why dogs go missing and how to find them. Millions of dogs go missing every year. Today, I want to discuss some common ways that dogs get lost and three key tips for avoiding those situations. These tips are especially helpful for owners of new dogs or skittish dogs, but in truth, even a trusted, well-trained dog can get startled and react in completely unexpected ways. Some of the common ways that dogs go missing are things that a lot of us do on a regular basis. It could be walking our dog off leash, leaving our dog unattended outside a store or in a yard, riding with our dog unrestrained in a car or truck, having someone at our house like a repair person who opens a door, or having our dog stay at someone else's house like a pet sitter. Fortunately, there are simple precautions we can all take to minimize the chance our dogs will go missing in any of these situations. The first tip I wanna to share today is to never walk a new dog or a skittish dog or bring a dog home from the shelter with their leash attached to a flat collar. This is my dog's flat collar and I use it to attach his ID tag. It stays on his neck 24 seven, but I don't attach his leash to this collar for walks because it's too easy for a dog to back out of a flat collar. If it was tight enough to prevent that, it would be too tight around his neck. I've seen countless postings, too many, mostly for newly adopted foster dogs, rescue dogs, who slipped out of their collars because something frightened them on a walk. This is completely preventable. Instead of a flat collar, consider walking your dog on a martingale collar, like this one. It looks like a flat collar, but if a dog tries to pull out of it, it becomes snug around their neck without choking them. Another option is a harness, like my dog's harness here. Just check any harness or martingale collar before using it to make sure it's snug enough to prevent escape. The second tip I have today is to always restrain your dog when riding in a car or truck. I've seen many lost dog postings for dogs who bolted from a car right after an accident. I just saw one yesterday in a Facebook group for lost dogs. A dog who's been in a car accident can panic. They might jump out an open window or door and keep running. If you're on a road trip, they could be hundreds of miles away from home. Restraints are also important in a car because they keep our dogs safe from injury for the same reason we wear seatbelts. Car restraints can include strong harnesses that attach to your seatbelt system or crates that attach to your car using anchors. Even if you're not going far, it always makes sense to restrain your dog for a ride. The third tip for today is to check out any place your dog will be staying when you're not home. Whether it is your house and a pet sitter will be staying there or someone else's house or a boarding facility. Ask a lot of questions. Where your dog will be staying when awake and asleep, who will be watching your dog at different times and their general safety protocols, even for opening the door. Look for potential escape opportunities through fences or gates. And keep in mind that your dog may behave very differently when you're not around, even in their own home. If a situation doesn't seem safe, consider other options. There's a lot more information in my book about preventing your dog from getting lost, how dogs can find their way home, and the best ways to find lost dogs. You can find the book in print or ebook at your favorite online bookshop. You can check out my website, doggonemissing.com and you can subscribe to my channel to learn about my next video. And please make sure your dog always has an up-to-date ID tag and a microchip. Thanks for watching.